when a couple coming in for fertility assessment, um, the first thing that we usually do is uh, um, we always stress that we, we will see them as one entity. So I'll see the, both the man and woman together. Um, usually I'll take a very detailed medical history with a very uh, um, uh, strong emphasis on whether there is any proper sexual intercourse and activities. And here we are, we are talking about uh, whether they actually have intravaginal ejaculations or whether there is any obvious sexual dysfunction whereby they are not able to have sexual intercourse at all. Now, then only we talk about whether there is any infertility factors here. Now, um, in the men, I think the first line is, of course, most important is still the semen analysis. Um, if um, he, he came with uh, any, any semen analysis results that show any anormality, and that's when I will start to examine him and find out whether there is any treatment that is amenable to him to make the sperm uh, normal again. However, in a woman, it's uh, slightly different. Um, the first thing I will do is usually uh, to perform an ultrasound of the pelvis. And in this case, I'll be looking at the uterus to make sure that there isn't any other growth such as fibroids that could affect fertility. And of course, the ovaries must be of good size. And of course, there should not be any obvious swelling that indicates there might be some um, tubal swelling, uh, tubal obstructions. Subsequent to that, I will move on to um, to have uh, some tests to look at the hormonal conditions of the women and of course to confirm whether there is any ovulation or not. So we usually do a blood test to see what's the hormonal conditions and of course um, following that I was um, depending on what I obtain on the results the next level will be to monitor for ovulations and to um, either for time intercourse or sometimes they might want to move on straight away to intrauterine insemination.